Scottish Fire and Rescue Service has their own robust recruitment and selection process designed to their specific requirements. However, they all follow the same broad framework and contain similar elements. If you apply to a Scottish Fire Service to become a whole-time firefighter, you can expect to complete an initial application, undergo physical tests, complete either psychometric or ability tests, as well as participate in an interview and a medical assessment. Before you apply to the fire service, we would like you to consider if you have drive, commitment and skills necessary to perform in this challenging career. We are looking to employ intelligent, confident and engaging individuals with the physical fitness and personal ambition to commit to what is potentially a lifelong career. The recruitment and selection process will determine your suitability to join. There are of course some skills that we are looking for. These are referred to as personal qualities and attributes or PQAs. These will remain a feature of your career as a firefighter extending well beyond the initial recruitment and selection process. The job is an active role and at times can be very physically demanding in terms of physical strength as well as stamina and agility. Before entering the fire service you must have a good level of fitness and be committed to maintaining this throughout your career. You are not expected to perform to levels of an Olympic athlete but you should aim to be above average fitness. The role of a firefighter is not all about the physical demands of attending fires or road traffic collisions, climbing ladders or crawling through tight spaces. A huge part of the role involves interacting with other people, your colleagues, distressed or injured persons at incidents, as well as delivering the community safety message. For those reasons, we are looking for people with the communication skills to effectively interact with people from different backgrounds and age groups. You will be working as part of a small team, so an ability to work well alongside others is essential as is the requirement to be flexible and follow instructions given to you by officers in charge. While it is necessary to follow instructions, especially in responding to incidents, you must also have the intellectual ability to think for yourself. This is particularly important to ensure your own safety and the safety of others. Being aware of your surroundings and staying alert to risk is a skill that will be tested in the selection process. It could save your life. Training is part of everyday life as a firefighter, so you will need to have a commitment to personal development and be able to take responsibility for your own development as well as contributing to the development of others in your team. The fire service is committed to an agenda of equality and diversity within the workplace as well as in service delivery. In addition to demonstrating that you are able to work alongside people who may be different to you in some way, you will also have to show that you have a personal commitment to treating everyone with dignity and respect. The recruitment and selection process is designed to assess your ability to perform effectively as a firefighter. The process has been designed around the role of a firefighter and the PQAs, so every element of the recruitment process is relevant to the job in some way. The order of the stages may be different depending upon which service you apply to. The first step in the recruitment process for all fire services is completing the recruitment application. This is your first opportunity to tell us what makes you suitable to be a firefighter. We want to know about your past experience that may be relevant and think carefully about what you want to say to us about yourself, your skills and experience. Take your time to make sure that you do not forget to tell us something but always remember what you include should be relevant. It is up to you to tell us what you did, how you did it, what outcome was and in what way this is relevant. While the application is the first stage of the process. This does not necessarily mean that it will not be referred to later in the selection process. For example, you may get a question about the content of your application at the interview stage. The job can be mentally demanding in a variety of ways. Sustaining a heightened state of alertness can be draining and there are many occasions when you could come into contact with situations that are distressing. It is therefore essential that you are not only deemed physically capable of carrying out the tasks of the job, but you are also medically fit. The medical assessment will be carried out by qualified medical professionals. You can expect to meet either a nurse or a doctor who specialise in occupational and fire service medicine. The medical test will assess your medical fitness, record your heart, blood pressure and breathing while undertaking physical activity. Your hearing and sight will also be assessed to determine your ability to carry out the job. You will be asked to complete a medical questionnaire. You will be asked about your medical history, lifestyle and general health. Any medical conditions you have or medications that you take. Any disability that you have which could potentially impact on your ability to carry out the role will be discussed. The assessment is thorough and the medical professionals may require further information from your GP before making their decision. 
It is essential that you are physically and mentally capable of carrying out the role of a firefighter and that you will not cause yourself any harm in doing so. The physical tests set out to assess cardiovascular function, stamina, strength, agility, coordination and your ability to work at heights and in confined spaces. Again, there may be slight differences in the actual test used by each fire service, but they will all set out to test this set of six key fitness indicators based on the requirements of the job. As a firefighter, you will be required to work at heights. This is assessed in the physical tests. You may be asked to climb a ladder, pitched against a wall and undertake a task, while at a height equivalent to a two-story building. The reason for this is we need to know that not only can you climb a ladder, but you're also confident working at heights. You may be asked to enter a confined space and follow instruction, carry out a task, or maneuver your way around a series of very small spaces with your vision obscured. This is to test your agility in working in small and confined spaces and also assess your response and make sure that you are not claustrophobic. You may also be asked to assemble, dismantle or manipulate objects. This is to test your level of coordination. In addition to using tools, as a firefighter, you will also at times be required to assemble or dismantle objects, often at speed. Real-life examples of the requirement of this skill are the need to use breathing apparatus or detaching a fire hose from an appliance, attaching it to a hydrant and adjusting the flow of water through manipulation of a nozzle. Other tests may involve running or walking at speed, carrying equipment or lifting items. Lifting heavy objects is part of the day-to-day -day life of a firefighter, so it is important to test not only your overall strength, but your stamina too. Psychometric or ability tests are designed to test your ability to think like a firefighter. Like the physical tests, they are based on the requirement of the job and aim to assess things such as your perception of risk, your attitude toward taking instruction and following orders, your ability to think for yourself and your overall mental capability. These tests are not intelligence tests and do not assess performance along the lines of formal educational assessments. But you'll no doubt have realised for yourself that the role of a firefighter, by its very nature, requires you to be bright, alert and intelligent. However, you should note that there is no element of the recruitment and selection process that requires you to be what is often referred to as academic. The intelligence skills we are looking for are much broader than the narrower academic achievements of formal education. Typically, a good standard of English and arithmetic will be of great advantage in the successful completion of the recruitment process. The format of the tests are either paper or computer based and may be conducted in a classroom style setting or via the internet. The interview is usually towards the end of the recruitment and selection process and is your chance to really sell yourself and your skills. Similar to the application form, interviewers will want to know what makes you suitable to be a firefighter. Your personal qualities and attributes, assess your overall commitment to the objectives of the Scottish Fire and Rescue Service and the likelihood of doing well in the role if appointed. Interviews will be conducted by at least two interviewers, with some services using sequential interviewing. That is, you will have two or more interviews with different people on the same day. As you can see, the recruitment and selection process is strenuous. It has to be. The role of a firefighter is physically, intellectually and at times emotionally challenging. So it is essential that the recruitment process will thoroughly test the candidate's suitability. Each of the stages of the recruitment process and the various tasks within those stages has been carefully thought out to guarantee that those who do well will make good firefighters. The process can also be quite lengthy in duration. For a variety of reasons, it is not possible to conduct each stage of the test, physical, psychometric or ability, medical and interviews on the same day, and it is often several months between each stage. All services employ a single standard recruitment process, however, the detail may differ across services. If you apply to a particular fire service, you will go through exactly the same process as everyone else applying to that service. Throughout the recruitment process, all services will ensure that they respect the principles of employment legislation in making reasonable adjustments on the grounds of disability where it is deemed appropriate. All of our candidates will be treated fairly and with dignity and respect, regardless of their performance on the day. 
We hope that this has given you a good insight into what you can expect if you decide to apply to one of the eight Scottish Fire and Rescue Services. You will be able to obtain more detailed information about the specific requirements of an individual fire service recruitment and selection process directly from those services and we hope that you contact them for further information soon.